This is uh, Ira Bailey and Reed Clipper. We are presenting our project on the mummification process. And for this, we're going to show you how to mummify a body. Alright, so Ira here is ready for uh, the initial debraining. Thank you, Ira. We will be using a, uh, a tool. I believe they use something around this size. We're going to be using something a little more... Modern. <laughs> a little more modern along this kind of line to get up in there and clean it up. So, uh, we'll just get all rid of those useless brains and mushy stuff in his head. Just small little incision. On there. Oh, there goes the brains. And the unnecessary brains of Ira Bailey. He's a very smart lad. He has lots of brains. Ouch. Okay. Hurts my back so much. We're now going to make a small incision on the left side, just below the heart, to remove the innards and some of the more, more important right organs. Side, I got turn. We have a fun fact here with Ira and Reed. These are four canopic jars, which will soon hold my organs. Uh, there's four of them, as there were four gods to represent the four important organs. Alright, we've now prepped Ira for the uh, incision on along the left side, just below the heart, to remove the uh, important organs, such as the uh, liver and whatnot, which we will then store in the canoptic jars. And uh, we'll save those for his afterlife. So we'll, uh, let's do that incision right here. Get a good close look at this. Now the original tools used to make the incision was probably a small knife or something. We don't have one of those. So we're going to use some hedge clippers. Just, uh, get in there. Hope you understand. It's a little historically inaccurate, but we work with what we got. Thank you. Alright. So we're just going to make an incision right along here. Mm. Alright, we're now going to salt the, uh, the body and all the uh, internal organs so they dry out and will last. This process takes about 40 days. So, uh, well, let's get salting. salt on that, drive some of that stuff down there too. Alright, this is looking real nice. Another fun fact with Reed and Ira. The original mummies happened because the Egyptians threw their dead into the hot sand which dried them out. The Egyptians liked to replicate this mummification process in a coffin, which wouldn't dry out the body on its own. So what we have here is salt. Does the job quite well. Alright, here's uh, Ira after 40 days of drying out. We've wrapped, uh, we've wrapped him up in his uh, Charmin brand linen. We'll, uh, I guess because he's such a great guy, we'll now be uh, putting a death mask on him. Probably give something like a ferrule wood. Just make him look very good. So we'll just lay it down. Ah, yeah. There he is. This okay. is I make and I know that this is, I know that it's made of... Then I'm working on a school project? Alright, go ahead. Who, me? Yeah. This is another... Sorry. This is another fun fact with Reed and Ira. Amulets were sometimes wrapped up in, in the linen of the rich mummies. Does that make sense? The rich mummies? Yeah, it makes sense. Alright, the rich mummies. Because they would ensure an easier trip to the afterlife. Thank you for watching. This has been a production of Ira and Reed. Thanks a lot, Miss McLean. You taught us well.
power, we run the school, trying to get straight A's. Let's take a trip way back in the days to the first civilization on Earth, the Egyptians, giving birth to medicine, mathematics, and music, religion. The list goes on. You choose it. Egypt was the land of spiritual blessing. Egypt was the land of facts, not guessing. People from all over the world had come to learn from Egypt, Egypt number one. So people that believe in Greek philosophy, know your facts. Egypt was the monopoly. People had called all over the world. And I'm just going to cut it off right there. Hey, Forget it, man. Let's hey, cut it. Hey. Let's just cut it off.